DP World in Stanford Leope because the container is back from a lot. So now I've got to unload the container, get the race car up. A bit battered and bruised from my little trip. That is literally the fastest we've ever loaded up, ever. But an hour and 20 minutes to get everything out of the container and in the back. Right. Cause Cause including getting uh, the business's stuff out. It's because I was here. Coordinating. Because I don't like f around. Stand there thinking about it, I just get it done. Right, that's it. Uh, container emptied, we had to get busy stuff out as well. All loaded, done. Probably the quickest we've ever done it, as Bagsy just said. No messing around today. That's because we need to get back to the workshop because Ash from Fleet Livery Solutions is waiting for us and waiting for the PS13 more importantly so that he can do pretty much almost a full rewrap on the car ready for Jackfest on Sunday at Silverstone. Let's go. Ash is here, we've got a lot of work to do. We need to get cracking so that he doesn't end up staying here until Saturday trying to get everything done. We've just got the car back from the pole, assess the damage, there's a bit more damage on the rear quarter on the driver's side, so we need to try and pull that out and then it's just working out what panel we can easily fix in time for Jabfest as well as doing the maintenance, repairing the exhaust. We didn't expect to get it back this late to then be rebuild it and go to the Jabfest, so we'll see what we can do. Hopefully it all gets done and we'll just make it look as best as we can really. Hopefully we have a nice easy time there but there could be other electrical gremlins elsewhere, so we'll have to uh, have a room for it and find out. <laughs> yeah, it's all go. Car's uh, not in a good state. A lot of work to do, three days. To leave that early Friday morning, day two, PS13. I think we did all right yesterday. Sam smashed it, repairing all the bodywork. I swapped out a load of bodywork, got some bit straightened, straightened out the port panel. Ash is wrapping the driver's side at the moment of the PS13. We've got the rear light panel to repair, and then we're gonna have to run it with no spoiler on the back because let's have a look. I'll show you, I'll show you exactly what he done. Wrecked it, but wrecked it. So we have to turn that off because it doesn't look good. I'm going to make a bumper bar for the front bumper because that got damaged in Amman. Uh, there's no way no, no more. Sam's going to finish doing what he's doing. Then he's going to go for all the stuff for the van, mount some tires. Get pretty much everything prepped, ready to load tomorrow. They have to be loaded by at least midday, really. Car finished, ready to rock and roll. Just the last few final touches today. So another busy one. Yeah. So that, what was we just doing? We 
the workshop as well. Yeah, you f***ing get you out, you People probably don't know a lot about you, do they? So if you don't know, now you know. Higo doesn't actually live in Essex with us. So you travel down, so you're not always here. So yeah. it's good when you're here though, isn't it? Because you get loads of content made, do loads of filming, we have fun. Higo makes a really good coffee. Just sitting here with it not on, but... I think people probably want to hear or see a little bit more about what you do. Because you are the man behind the content. Bagsy's obviously the talent. <laughs> but me and Sam do all the hard graft. Bagsy gets to drive the car and sign all the autographs, but you're the man that puts it all together. So I reckon there's probably a lot of people out there who can tell us in the comments if they want to see a bit more about what you do or what you use. Because I know you camera guys, uh, but yeah. you love a bit of equipment, don't you? You love showing off your... I think they're talking about us. No way. Oh no! I wasn't going to say it, you said it. You're, you can get away with it, you're one of the gang. Yeah. So yeah, what are you doing today? So I'm just going to be filming everything, all the chaos really that's uh, happening. All the time lapses, all the GoPros. All the sexy shots of the B-roll. As long as Ian does all the sexy stuff as well. Yeah, if, if I do some work, that is, I was very, uh, I was ill yesterday. I had hay fever was bad. Shout out yes. to all my hay fever gang gang. Let's do some work. Saturday morning, car's pretty much 99, 9, 86% back together again. There's a reason why we haven't put it back together again fully and why I'm taking this window out, because I need to give it a little wash, wishy-washy. So the plan is, as you can see, lots of desert grime. Look at this, look, this, look, get right in there, right in there and show them. This is what the radiator looks like after it's done an event. And as much as we try with these panels and this, window panel and everything else to try and stop all the crap getting in there but the air in it's still sometimes un, un, unassumminkable you can't do it yeah we need to give it a little wishy-washy we're going to blow the rad out give it a good wash wash under the engine bay wash all the back end out panels on in the trailer trailer loaded adios amigo silverstone here we come bosh just like that We could try taking the fuel out of it that was in Oman. This is being, it's been like, what is it, like seven weeks old now, the fuel that's been taken? Eight weeks. Do you want to turn off the jump pack? I don't get to. Pumping it all the way through the rail, so I've come straight out of the tank. Yeah, yeah. Just put it in a pocket. Yeah. Feel much if it's absorbed all the water out of the container. Are you good to go? Are you good to go? Sounds like someone's good to go. Yeah, yeah go on. Yeah. That's one, two, three. They're all working. Lift pump's working. I just want to drain the whole thing, put new fuel in it, but yeah, I don't think it's that. I mean, the fact that it was running yesterday on that fuel would tell me that the fuel's probably not, I mean, it might not be the best because it's been obviously traveled in the container, but it should still run the car. I don't understand how it just started straight away. Are you back on? Yep, back on.
It's like it goes to start and doesn't like, it's like the, it doesn't like the mixture or something. What, do you want to drain it then? Yeah, it won't hurt, does it? To put fresh fuel in it. Have we, have we had a look at the fuel filter? Have we had a look at that in Oman? In Oman, it was fine. You can check it now again as well. things that are beyond me it becomes normal somehow and, and maybe it was just that and I'm not sure but put fresh fuel in it it seems all right now you should never really leave the 85 in a car for a long time you should always drain it but obviously we just put it in the container and hope for the best <laughs> not really the right thing to do but we're in now Yeah, he's gone. I said to you earlier, you need to keep that enthusiasm up. Look, no enthusiasm. It's all gone now. Do you want to wash the van? Or, uh, do, you want to wash the van? do you want to wash the car or load the van? He's going, I don't want to do it. Do you know what I want to do? Oh, the panel's on. Go on. Don't do that. Come on, let's go on with it then.
done a day's work and I'm ready for bed. <laughs> and we finally just got it. So yeah, cool. We are at uh, Silverstone for Jamfest. Uh, it's a cool event. Uh, kind of like kicks the season off, I guess. So it's awesome to be back. Um, haven't been out on track at Silverstone for a while. I think the last time we were here was a couple of years ago for UKDC. So yeah, looking forward to getting out. There's a solid group here today of uh, really good drivers from all around the UK. So it's going to be a, a, it's going to be definitely a good demo. Um, it's a wet track at the moment, but there's no more rain forecast for today. So hopefully we get a dry line by maybe the second demo and then uh, yeah hopefully everyone keeps on the black stuff sunny side up and uh, yeah it'll be a good day so looking forward to getting back in the PS after its journey back from Amman and three days of uh, intense surgery So far so good, the car's feeling great, 
We've done two sessions out on track so far. It's been a lot of fun. I've done some pretty cool tandem runs with Martin Richards, done some runs with Axel as well. So it's been a good time out on track. No, uh, no dramas, I don't think, from anyone else in the paddock. I think everyone's putting on a pretty good show. The weather is holding out, which is good. So yeah, one session left to go, three o'clock. So yeah, just looking forward to getting back out on track, having a bit of fun with everybody. It's been solid. The boys have done a great job getting the car ready for in three days, turning the car around from how it was when we got back from Oman to uh, to here at Chapfest. So yeah, solid. So far, so good, touch wood, it's all... I think we have fixed it, I think it was a crank sensor that was bad, but why the ECU wasn't picking up that it was bad, I don't understand, but we're here now. Hopefully that was the issue and the day goes all right. <laughs> Drifting. Yeah, sleeping. Cuddling your best friend <laughs> yeah. after drifting some twinning action. <laughs> Loads of cars ain't broke. Yeah. Yeah, it was worth it. Obviously, we did quite a lot of late nights, but we put on a little troll in a way. Uh, we put on a good show for the people. It's always good for like brand awareness and growing the sport. And then obviously, uh, the other side of it that's always good is we had a car that came back from my mum. We wasn't sure whether or not we'd solved the problem, and I think today's proof that we have solved the problem. So I guess me and him don't know what we're doing. We just throw a load of parts here until we do know what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> We're here now, it's fixed. <laughs> yeah, today was solid. Uh, awesome time. Uh, Jam Fest is a lot of fun. Absolutely packed, packed house. The weather held out for everybody as well, which is awesome. Uh, had an amazing day. Um, car was flying. Had a lot of fun out on track with Axel, Martin, Richards. And uh, yeah, can't wait, to, uh, can't wait to do it again. So back to the workshop, get some rest. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Well, the wind's blowing in my f***ing toupee though, turn around. <laughs> You're doing better. Like a toupee, when it blows up, it looks like a toupee. I look like a f***ing cockatoo parrot. It took a while to start, but once it started, it was fun. That's not unusual, this thing. It's not unusual to be loved with anyone. That's all you get in 10 seconds. Copyright, isn't it? I don't know, you said all you get is 10 seconds. Oh, you can get yeah, you can get it all night long if you want to pay the money. Oh, no. I thought it was like a free trial. Don't no. just give up, Steve. <laughs> oh, he's got that camera out again. What are you moaning about? You moan if he doesn't film. You moan if he films. Make up your mind. I'm tired now.